Well, I've done it now. I've jumped on the diorama building uh, trend that is going on YouTube right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Basic Builder back with another Planet Zoo video. This time, like I said, we are doing a diorama style build. Um, a lot of fun, very challenging. I am shocked at how challenging this was. Anyways, um, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And if you do enjoy the video, hit that subscribe button. We are getting so close to 350 subscribers on the channel. Hopefully, I can get to around 400 by the end of the year. I think that would be a solid goal. So, if you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help me out the channel out let's get this going um so yes diorama builds a lot of fun challenging um i probably need to do a little bit more research on them um just so i can make them look a lot better this is my first attempt at ever doing one so keep that in mind as you're going through and watching this video um so this diorama we're doing a grizzly bear scene um, I'm not going to call it really a habitat, it's more of a scene, um, and, you know, I really like the idea of using, uh, horse perspective, um, in the, in the opposite way of you would do at, like, a theme park or anything like that. It was a lot of fun to try to make something look bigger when in reality it was actually smaller. Uh, so... Yeah, so we're just going to do a little mountain right here in this back corner and then build out forwards. Um, I struggled a little bit with the river, with the barriers. Um, I realized that the water's not all enough to bring the barrier top down. But like I said, trial and error, first time doing it. Um, so the idea behind the river, um, you'll see there we'll put in a cascading style waterfall. Um, and that's what that little trench you can see that I'm working on right there is. Um, I have the idea of um, I'm going to throw in these these coolers and creating a snow effect on top of this mountain. And as the snow is melting and it's flowing down the mountain, down the river, uh, through a couple of waterfalls, and then all the way down the river. Um, so I think it gives off a really really cool effect. Um, I struggled a lot with the barrier placement um, here I, I don't know if I put it in here or not I may have cut it out I cut a lot of things out of this um, but struggled with the with the barrier uh, again with the water and all of that so um, I'm taking notes for when I do the next diorama build of not messing that up <laughs> so anyways um, so yes yeah, grizzly bears they are a lot of fun. They are really, really cool animals to actually look at. Uh, the foliage, there's not many short style pine trees. I figured that out in the end. So I think what I'm going to do next time is pre-plan a little bit. Pull out the foliage and everything that I want to use. Pull out the rocks and everything. And then um, kind of place it from there. Um, whenever I'm doing my landscaping in any of my projects I always start with the rock build um, it really kind of to get kind of gives a foundation before you actually bring in the foliage um, the plants the trees all of that so um, if you are struggling out there with a little bit of your um, you doing your, your landscaping Place your your rock work down first. Um, it uh, in in modern day terms that would be what you would call your hardscape. Um, so place down your rock work or your hardscape first, and then bring in the plants. Um, trust me, uh, if you're struggling and you're just like ah, I don't know if this build looks great, it'll always look better once you add foliage into it. So that is my basic tip. Uh, for you um, that may be out there struggling with it so everything will come together in the end um, so here we are you can start to see I am placing the waterfall um, effects all the way down the mountain and then um, go in and, and start placing the trees 
Um, struggled a little bit with the fountains, but in the end, um, I think it turned out really well. I think using this little, um, using those uh, river rapids, um, like a splash, gives a really good effect of rushing water down the mountain, and then it kind of levels out into a little stream, and then a, a waterfall in the very end. So the habitat itself for the, the grizzly bears is not much of a traversable area. You will see back and forth, that's all they do, is just run back and forth, back and forth. Um, it's not intended to be a, it's more of a scene. That's all it is, it's just a scene. It's not an actual habitat. So keep that in mind. If you are um, considering making some of these, remember it's a scene, not a habitat. Um, so yeah, another basic tip. <laughs> I'm full of them today. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop. Uh, I'm going to stop rambling on here. I'm going to let the rest of the speed build go on, and then there will be some cinematics at the very end. So thank you so much, guys, um, for coming and watching this video. Please be sure to leave a comment and a like on the video. Uh, it does really help out the channel a lot, um, the community engagement and everything. Um, it really helps the channel grow and get noticed by YouTube and other um, other uh, people that may have not seen my content. So um, I am again greatly appreciative of y'all all being here. So um, I'm going to leave it there, and I will catch you in the next Planet Zoo video. I don't know which one that will be, but until then, we'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.